right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just went live. Oh, okay. So, how long have they been watching? No, this? not very long. I felt, I felt like. Oh my god. Yeah, I felt like your heartfelt story deserved to be private. <laughs> oh, I thought they were all just going to be sat listening, like, aren't we supposed to be watching people like have Pokemon and beauty shit? No, nope, we're just going to sit here and talk about ancient Greek culture. No, nope. okay, cool. Uh, hi. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and welcome to the party. I am your game master for this evening, the Bardic Knock, and we are playing Pokemon Tabletop Adventures, a uh, fan-made Pokemon tabletop adventure. Ha <laughs> ha uh, You know, you Google it, you can find it all. It's all free to play, and it's all wonderful, and it's all great and grand, and lots and lots of fun. Uh, if you want to check me out on social medias and whatnot, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and YouTube, all under the Bardic Knock. <laughs> Um, players, uh, who are you? Let's start with, let me look on my screen. Uh, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, tell me about yourself. Hey, yeah, I'm Nudie Teddy. You can find me on Twitter at Nudie Teddy. I'm here three times a week, and, uh, tonight I am playing Ever Kiss Moon. <clears throat> mm. And, uh, Ever, well, you haven't revealed it to the, the party yet, but last session you revealed to the audience some, uh, some pretty big secrets and truths, so we'll see what that's uh, going to lead to. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> and right below, Nerdy, we have Michi. Michi, can you please tell us about your lovely self? Hi, I'm Michi, at Michisaurus on the Twitter. I'm here a couple times a month. <laughs> um, and I'm Lightweight. playing Clementine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just tired all the time. Damn. Me too. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, I'm playing Clementine, who is doesn't belong here at all. She's too nice. Mm -hmm. But maybe she'll get to punch somebody at some point. Who knows? Why do all of my characters punch things? It's almost as if a core part of most tabletop role-playing games is violence. Eh, that can't be it. <laughs> Maybe you're just violent. That's mm. possible. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, finally, Shogun. Shogun, tell us about yourself, please. I'm nobody, don't worry, don't worry about it. I'm nobody. You're a human being. <laughs> Uh, Inform me of yourself. I am Shogun. I'm Shogun one one seven on Twitter, and I run several games. And I play in this wonderful game as Amelia Briss Brissa, um, who is a uh, the leader of the group. And uh, I I would propose the most evil of the group. I thought we pretty much decided that that's not even a question. That's just like a, a statement of fact at this point. Yeah. I, I just didn't want to be too upfront in case someone else wanted to <clears throat> challenge me for that position. <laughs> <clears throat> and our fourth, Cyril, uh, it is his anniversary today on this most Valentine-y of Valentine's Days. So uh, he is not with us. <laughs> But it's okay because he's he's having a lovely time <laughs> with his significant other, and that is almost as important as pretending to be a Pokemon trainer. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> so before we jump into whatever it is we are going to be doing this evening, hey. Do you like welcome? No, 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 no. Do you like tabletop <laughs> role playing games? Don't laugh at me. Uh, uh, if you do, you should consider checking out Welcome to Party's Discord server, where we have multiple people. Uh, you know, there's like seven. <laughs> no, there, there, there's like over a hundred people. Uh, there's I think. like three hundred or so at this point. Great, Scott. <laughs> Yeah, it, I don't remember. There's too many. There's a lot of people who are all somewhat 
are associated with tabletop role-playing games and uh, lots of people who aren't. And it's just fair because it's a really nice, all-inclusive place for everybody to discuss things they like discussing. Uh, we have places to talk about food, places to talk about anime, places to talk about appealing, arousing, that's the word, arousing things. If you're into that, you know, it's there. So you join that Discord. Link is down below. Uh, you can also follow Welcome to Party on Twitter, where we have lots of great stuff, because our social media team, see, if I call it a team, instead of, you know, acknowledging it's like two people, it sounds more professional. At least three. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a team. It is a it is an ambiguous number of people and or sentient animals. <laughs> I'm I'm hoping it is mainly cats. <laughs> uh, but they do lots of great stuff over on Twitter, so you, should, so you should give them a follow over on Twitter at Welcome Party RPG. There's also all the YouTube stuff where you can catch everything which happens on this channel in your own time over on YouTube. That's youtube.com forward slash welcome to the party. You can also subscribe here on Twitch and get various rewards for tiers. Uh, well, tier 1, you get access to the WTTP D20 emotes. <laughs> tier 2, Michael the Mimic. Tier 3, Crits on the Rocks. Uh, for every month you subscribe, you can give a free crit to a player or DM in any game uh, of your choice for, like, once a month. So there's that. You can also donate bits. When you give bits, we do things. Uh, 500 bits affects the game in a small way, such as uh, crit, max damage, etc., etc. Uh, for a thousand bits, <clears throat> you can affect the game in a large way. For example, in this game, someone donated that and they made a shiny Mew appear. It exists, it's in the world, it is hanging out in a house with a bunch of cats <laughs> eating honey. I yep. wish that was made up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's not the worst thing that's happened in this game. No. That might be uh, the best thing. <laughs> it's the most pure thing, at least. I, I don't think I could describe the worst thing that's happened in this game. <laughs> because it's probably going to change again tonight. So. I'm currently, I currently would put the bar at the panda thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aren't, mm, aren't you current or is it the aim to wear the pancham in the future like because you currently have a pancham pelt correct right correct mm. Mwah, beautiful mm. <laughs> so uh where we left off i want our... a small hoodie oh oh, oh. <laughs> can you make like a small coat for smoochie if you want me to try and do that on a sprite, no, I don't mean that. I mean, oh, I God, mean no. ever. Oh, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it yeah. in character. I can't do it with sprite work. I, I can change colors, and that's about it. No, that's, <laughs> no, that's all right. Uh, I, I was just thinking, yeah, because it's so small. It's basically either, either we can make a purse out of it, or, <laughs> or a small like coat for Smoochie. That's pretty much all we can make out of it. <clears throat> yeah, so <clears throat> where we left off last time, our <laughs> group I don't feel comfortable calling you heroes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> our group of people uh arrived at uh Fight Town and once there, a much uh, living up to its name, it was announced that there is uh, a large tournament ongoing, which uh you signed up for under uh the team name just the Rangers. Yup. <laughs> and uh, that tournament is going to start in the morning. Uh, so you've, you're you having your night's rest all together. Can I? You know that you are. Oh, yeah. Can, can, oh, I just wanted to edit the name that we put in. Instead of it being the Rangers, I want it to be the official Rangers. Or the, <laughs> the actual Rangers. The actual Rangers. Yes. Like, do you need an, Do you want an underscore in there? Yes. <laughs> the actual rangers, yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> yep, no. It... <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know that you are in block five. Uh, so that's what you've got the next morning. Uh, during your your evening's rest, you, you've all been set up. You all get uh, 
Well, you get a, a team hotel room. Awesome. Because it, you get it for signing up for the thing. It's totally free. So, is there anything you would like to do the evening before? Uh, discuss tactics, plans, etc. Or is it just get a good night's rest? So we don't know who's in our group yet? Uh... <clears throat> They've got, like, you, you've seen the block name, and they've got, like, some... They, they've all got generic team names, uh -huh. so, like, none of the larger-looking teams, which we mentioned before, so uh, the Mimic Knights, uh, the Winds of Chaos, uh, the, Daisy Change of, the Daisy Chains of Fife, and uh, the Newbies. Uh, they were not uh, in your block. Okay. Uh, I wanted to... And I don't think I want to waste too much time, but I had set aside, uh, I believe, 10,000 money to bribe other people in our block to intentionally lose and to to help okay. us in the battles against those who might appear to be tough inside of our block. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I can tell you the names of the teams in your block. Let me just look. I have them written down. Uh, there is... Uh, <clears throat> uh, da -da -da -da. There is Team Crushing Wave, Team Punching Dragons, uh, Team uh, Meadow Sweet, and uh, Team Wings. Uh, how much are you intending to bribe, and who are you intending to bribe? Uh, all of them. I'll evenly divide 10,000 money between all of them. Um, I mean Okay. If they'll take it, if they'll bite for that, do you want me to roll uh, uh, something? Well, <laughs> I, I'm just going to point out these are all teams of four. Uh -huh. So if you're dividing ten grand between four groups of four, that's only like, okay, so ten grand split four ways. That's two thousand five hundred split that four ways. Yeah, you know, that's like six hundred dollars each. That's really <laughs> like that's not much bribing. True. You'd be better off bribing one or two. Yeah. Uh, which one seems to be the toughest? <clears throat> well, that depends on what you see as being tough. Um, obviously, you don't see what the the Pokemon are uh -huh. because that would ruin the whole thing. So, if you were judging by the names alone, there's, you know, as I said, crushing waves, punching dragons. <laughs> Meadow Sweet and Wings. Huh. I. I feel like. Because we don't necessarily need them to be super good. We just need them to be kind of a punching bag slash wall between us and everyone else. Mm. So. What do you two think? Who, who should we make friends with? Would be the way I would put it. <laughs> Too Clementine. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Just to be like, Wing sounds like a fun group name. Okay. What do you think, Ever? Hmm. I'm inclined to agree with Clementine on this one. All right, sweet. Let's do that then. So I will approach the wings. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will... Let me think of how I want to do it. I will offer them 8,000. So 2,000 each. To essentially accept that they're probably not going to win this tournament anyway. Like, odds are they won't. <clears throat> I point out, I specifically yeah. mentioned the other strong-looking teams that, like, it's just not going to happen, and you know it. You know you're not going to win. However, you can come out of this <sighs> with something. So forget trying to win, and focus on trying to help us win, and this is yours. Okay. Uh, do you want to roll me a charisma on that? Uh, also, I would say that I'll give them 4,000 now and then 4,000 after the tournament. Is. Yeah, that sounds fair. Okay. 
Um, yeah, because they, they rolled pretty bad. <laughs> All right. I mean, a 14 is pretty decent anyhow. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, the person who steps forward, yeah, he's... Well, he, she, they, uh, it doesn't matter because they're generic NPC. They, they don't even have a name. That's fine. <laughs> uh, the one steps on us. Well, yeah, yeah. We were kind of here just to get some experience for Pokemon, really. There you go. 4,000 uh, money right there for you. All right. Wonderful. Great. Cheers. See you afterwards. Yes. <clears throat> as I walk uh, okay, away, so I, I'm not going to pay them. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way I'm going to pay them. <laughs> you are evil. <laughs> it's sort of a, like I look to the camera. I'm like, no, I'm not going to pay them. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Um, okay, so you've got that set up, ready for the morning. Is there? Anything else you would like to do in the evening before you uh, get a good night's rest and get up bright and early for the next day? Where you're gonna fight Pokemon? What kind of amenities does this room have? Does it have a coffee maker? Uh, yeah. Uh, fight Town. Yeah, uh, it's not excessive. It's not like Four Seasons, Five Stars, <laughs> anything like that. But it. It prides itself on comfort and decent service. So your basic needs are met and you are made to feel immensely comfortable whilst there. So things like coffee are there. Your room has amenities for you to make your own food if you so choose. But there is also a restaurant downstairs awesome. uh, which serves uh, locally sourced foods. Can I... Um spend my evening unless anyone else wants to talk to me or do anything specific i'm going to spend my evening on this universe's equivalent to twitter making fake accounts and bashing the rangers <laughs> <laughs> um okay if you're going to do this and can just i because... roll charisma to be extra biting with my remarks Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, however, I have one requirement of you. Yes. I need at least two account names designed specifically to bash on the Rangers. Uh, slow poker. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. And, um, uh, Giara Deuces 9 9. Okay, uh, and what kind of things are you, are you saying? Like, oh god, the Rangers suck. I'm just main. The main thing I'm trying to do is make sure that any kind of thing that they've done wrong ever is not forgotten. <laughs> it's basically just bring up anything that, uh, you know, including stuff that we've blamed them for in the past. Um, so retweeting out pictures of a great Mankey massacre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just gonna <laughs> never forget. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that sort of stuff. I'm just bringing up anything that they would uh, rather people start forgetting about. Just kind of retilling that earth. And how much of the stuff you uh, you saying is true, and how much are you just making up? Um, one of the accounts is mostly just bringing up stuff. It's not necessarily that the stuff is true, but is not really creating any new statements in itself. So it's just re-saying stuff other people have already said and then the other one i will fabricate fake stuff with i'll make up new things or expand on previously established or stated things okay what is the most outlandish thing you come up with? um i'm going to say that the that the uh <laughs> the air base thing that they have like mm -hmm. runs on what is what is a really, really cute Pokemon? Like... <laughs> Pancham. No, <laughs> no, no. That, uh, that, the, that, it, that the giant air fortress is fueled with oddishes. <laughs> that it runs on, like, ground-up oddishes. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll charisma. Uh, let's see how good these these um. Yeah, not not so fantastic. Let's see how the poker Twitter takes it. I know we gave it a name. We named it after like a Starly or something. Uh, I wonder if they have a good social media presence. Um, the Rangers themselves do not have a good social media presence. Uh, at this moment in time, it's not too dissimilar to, say, like, an Arby's, where <laughs> they know that social media is a thing, and they try to they try to get in on those dank memes, but they have no idea what, what they're doing. About six months like... too late <laughs> on every single yeah. one of them. <laughs> so it's like, pop culture! <laughs> yeah. They're slowly working their way up to making a shaggy meme. Like, they're nearly there. Despite the fact that that meme is already dead, and that's where it should stay. <laughs> so actually, you know what? Most of the stuff I do is just retweet or whatever it is. The extremely boring and, and, and uh, out-of-touch things that they have said. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly that. It's just, hey, look what they say. Uh, hey, look at these dumbos. They can't even social media write. Yeah. Can, you, you can't trust them to follow a meme in appropriate timing. Can you trust them to keep you safe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, you, you, you gain a, a decent amount of traction. Uh, you know, for, for one night, th these accounts, they get, you know, a couple hundred followers, a decent amount of retweets. Like, you're good at this. Social media is one of the things you are just inherently good at. Mm. So it's not as good as you would have liked, but there is now definitely more mutterings and murmuring that, mm, yeah. This, this... It's getting to a point where the Rangers are slowly becoming, in the eyes of many people, just a joke. Awesome. This is why we play role-playing games, to do things that we can't do in real life. <laughs> like, be good at social media. Because <laughs> oh, I certainly can't do that. No. Um, uh, I've got, like, two hours worth of rant material on social media, so I'm, I'm just going to stop myself right there. Let's move right along. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, okay, so that's what Amelia is doing. Uh, Clementine and Eva, is there anything in particular you would like to do this evening, or you just happy to get a nice chilled out evening, maybe stroke a Pokemon and do something nice and cutesy? Gonna watch the Cartoon Channel. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Genius mutant ninja Squirtles. Squirtle, squirt. Yes. <laughs> it's just hours and hours of that and when it goes to uh what's it called uh street shopitos <laughs> <laughs> and uh i don't know <laughs> just just go I'm trying to think. What are other bad '90s TV shows that I could make bad Pokemon references? Oh, with? um, um yeah, Mask Alive. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Um, Beautiful. There's no like Pokemon. Like, there's lots of Pokemon which are like a mouse, but there's none which is like it actually has the word mouse in it. So I can't do a biker mice from Mars. Um. That's unfortunate. Ugh. Damn it. Uh, I think I ruined the jokes. But yeah, you can sit <laughs> and watch cartoons for as many hours as you like. Brain away. It's great. I think I'll end up doing the same, because I was, I was looking mm -hmm. at my bills, I was like, oh, I can make something, and then I realized that most of the ones that I have are for content. So... <laughs> <laughs> I will... You probably just end up watching cartoons as well. Uh, before I go to sleep, I am going to... Because we have, like, 
extras of those of those ranger uniforms, right? Uh, yes, you you got a whole bunch enough to dress up the team. Wonderful. So since we have several, I'm going to particularly wear it wrong. I'm like going to try and find <laughs> out how to make a ranger look as derpy as possible, like wear the hat upside down or um, just like. <laughs> Yeah, just like uh, the shirts, most definitely inside out, and all of that. Like, just oh, were you, were you not thinking of uh, doing that? I know it has a name, but what, you know, you do that thing with the shirt where you essentially turn into like a top. <laughs> yes. So you do that. Uh, the hats are like berries, so I don't know how yes. you wear a beret wrong, but no, no, it's I like out. punch it inside out, and put it on upside down. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see the see, you can see the rim of it yep. like on the outside, <laughs> and there's like the the label uh, like right there on the top, like full display. That's awesome. Love it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I think this is what Rangers should be thought of. <clears throat> uh, Clementine and Ever, are you doing anything to individualize your Ranger outfit when you put it on? Like ripping the sleeves off, or and also since we're going to be in the middle of a city, I'm going to be wearing like the winter camo version. <laughs> Perfect, genius. Oh, mismatched. So like the pants are like, uh, like ocean camo. <laughs> wow. it, it, it's just an affront to all of the senses. Yeah. Nope. You know what? Go all the way. <clears throat> Roll up one leg to knee yes! leg. Yes! <laughs> you, you know what? Ever's going to do the one thing she's probably wanted to do for a long time. She's probably going to dazzle the hell out of it. <laughs> um, do you write anything in the uh, bedazzlements? No. All right, so it's just, it's just super, super sparkly. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, wonderful. And does Clementine do anything to hers? Probably a rainbow somewhere. <laughs> I love it. And yeah, Slim, Slim's gonna look kind of normalish, but like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I know Sarah would have something very, very funny to. I, I don't know what that's because it's a ranger uniform, but it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. He is on fire. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Purposely make it look too both too big and too small at the same time. There you go. Don't know how it works, but it does. <clears throat> Um, uh, oh, okay. So, the next morning comes around. You guys, well, you lot, sorry, can, you know, have breakfast. You can either go downstairs, get it from the restaurant, or you can make it yourself, entirely your choice. Uh, stock up on all the coffee you could ever possibly need or want. And you are informed <clears throat> that all uh, tournament uh, competitors must choose the Pokemon they are wishing to go into the preliminaries with and head to their designated arena. Uh, what, one last thing. I want to go to the cafeteria or whatever it is, the restaurant, and just uh, put some mustard stains on the winter camo shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> I want, I want them, I want everyone to associate this with the Rangers. I want them to, when they think of Rangers, Messy, to be just like... Stupid, yeah. disorganized, all of those things. It's Every a, time you do something to the uniform, Ever is mortified. I'll wash it! <laughs> I will... Turn to the camera. I won't wash it. I won't wash it. (laughs) 
Uh... <clears throat> okay. Um, <laughs> so, which uh, Pokemon are you all choosing to enter the preliminary round with? Hmm. Prince. Yeah. I... Nova. If... If I wanted to be subtle, I should have done everything differently. So I'm just going to lead with Muji. <laughs> okay. And uh, Slim is using his go-to with Pentatoma Day. Okay. So let me scroll you over to your arena. Um, oh, God. Dropped on top of The referee. There we go. <clears throat> so, uh, you can see all the other arenas. Four of the other arenas. They are full. Uh, battles are already ongoing. Um, if you had the chance, you would probably stop and scan things. But, you know, if you do ever try and stop, you get uh, pushed along. No, 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 come on. You're already late. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> And um, when you arrive, you see that the the four sides of the arena already have the teams lined up. And the referee turns to you and goes, Ugh. Rangers. Ugh. Always <laughs> running late. I have a cup well, of coffee. <laughs> I'm still sipping. <laughs> and a bagel. Yes, same. <laughs> well, since... You have actually decided to show up. Um, unfortunately, you missed the drawings. Uh, so you've got to start in the center. All right? All right. And with that... Good enough for government work. <clears throat> the other four sides, uh, they all release their Pokemon. So you can see all the Pokemon you're up against. Um, if you would like to put yourself in whatever position you would like to put yourself in around the center, uh, no, that's providing it is in the 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 second circle, uh, you're fine. So you can position yourself and your Pokemon anywhere in that circle. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know what's happening. We're going here. We see a Vulpix over there. <laughs> uh, you can make the logical assumption. Well, no, you, you met the people. You can see the people to your left-hand side. That is Team Wings. Yep. They are the ones who you have. Um, th they look at you and they give you a... a, a... All right. Mm -hmm. We made a deal. Let's do this. Uh, once you are in position, uh, just let me know, and I can move the referee out of the way, and the preliminary round will begin. And as Mochi will be keeping the knife concealed for now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, Michi, it sounded like you were about to say something. Oh, I'm good. Yep. I'm gonna start scanning Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright, yeah. Um, in this time, while, <laughs> uh, you can scan two Pokemon. Which two would you like to scan? Uh... Well... <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounded very definite. And that green one next to it. Uh, you already have scanned a Chikorita hat. Oh, wait, no. Way you're, back at the beginning of the game. You're right. What <laughs> on earth is the thing to the right of the Vulpix? Uh, that is a Floet. Huh. I'm gonna look up a picture of that. Uh, 
Silhouette. Uh, Pokemon. Ah, oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting Pokemon. <laughs> I'm gonna scan Swablu and is that that's Zatu? Uh, right? yeah, yeah, Swablu and Zatu, uh, two of the birds. And Clem, which two are you scanning? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> Probably the Tangela because I mean. <laughs> um. Well, that is actually a growth. Ah. Okay. Big Tangela. And whatever this thing is. Shellgon? Yeah, that is a Shellgon. Okay. Scan right. those then. Yep. So as you're just there, everyone else is like getting serious and you just all whip out decks and stuff. <laughs> kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, so much so the referee kind of looks and he goes, uh, you guys, you lot know this is like a serious thing, right? I just turn my camera to him and take a picture with like the flash on. <laughs> oh. God. Does that, to me, does that ever take a selfie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you flash, he goes, dog. Ranges. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, rules. Uh, Go! Try to not. No! No, you're not in charge here! Stop it! Can I roll charisma to try and have got, gotten everyone to fall start? Yeah. <laughs> I really hope it's a nat 20. It's a nine. <laughs> um, unfortunately, now everyone's going like, what? Okay, no. The Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> and it, the, the person in the center is like, uh, no. You, you start when when I get out of the ring and I say, I'm not going to say it because you, I can tell. If I was to say, you all start when I say go. <laughs> Smoochie takes her turn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Smoochie, what do you do? <laughs> Uh, we move, uh, there, and then, uh, and then I'm going to do, uh, rollout. Oh. Which will move us, uh, to, uh, pa actually past the, uh, the... Vulpix to right there. <laughs> well, right there, actually. Um, okay, so you're also hitting the trainer. I'm not trying to, but that I don't want to go outside the ring. Um, yeah. But it's a passing <laughs> move. Yeah, 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 that's fine. You, uh, I will say you hit the trainer and you are still midair. Cool. Yeah, as you do so. Um, so, uh, yeah. Do roll out. You said go. <laughs> I miss. <No. laughs> <clears throat> yeah, the the referee looks at you and goes. <sighs> you said go. Knock out <laughs> or ring out. Team at the end wins. Go. <laughs> uh, and he moves his way out of that. Um, quickly tell me, what are the speeds of your Pokemon? Because I need to get an average Two. for Team Crossbones. Sorry, I'm wow. going to bring us down a bit. <laughs> I'm waiting for my thing to load. It's fine. <clears throat> okay, I just remembered that Nova's speed wasn't great either. <laughs> uh, Prince's speed is on this sheet somewhere. 11. Okay, so, 11. Let me check what Pentatomides is. It's either surprisingly good or just as bad as I think it is. I would think it would be good, but I may be mistaken. Uh, <clears throat> Pentatomides, there you are. 
21. All right. Ooh. So, uh, Prince's use two. That's 34. What's Nova's? Nova's is five. Five. So that's 39. 39 divided by five is 9.75. Um, so that puts you last in the top. So. <clears throat> uh, I will just quickly throw them all in. So it's going to be Team Wings with a Z because they're cool. That's why we made friends with them. Crashing waves. They don't spell it with a Z. They're not cool enough. Punching dragons. Do they spell it with a Z? No. <laughs> Unless you can think of a different way to spell punching dragons, like any other bad grammar or spelling. And meadow sweet. That's just spelled wrong in every possible way. <laughs> Not that's just me spelling it wrong in there because I'm I'm bad. And then the true heroes of a poke <sighs> universe, crossbones. Uh, uh that's and not that... our name. Oh no no you you aren't crossbones. No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I need to I, the villain I, don't, I don't mean to be yeah. picky. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. The underscore actual underscore rangers. Yeah. Uh, do you need XXX at the start and at the beginning of that, that team be name? That <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Um, <clears throat> you, you don't actually need the numbers in there because that's the correct order because that's how I just put it in. So with that, uh, Team Wings, they have agreed to assist you. So let's see if I can bash through their stuff as fast as I possibly can. Uh, First one will be this Swallow. That is going to... Uh, does it have enough movement for that? Yeah, it does. It flies down straight here to this little Chikorita. And it slaps it with its wings. Uh, that is a hit. So that is going to deal... Totally forgot to put something on... Uh, there. There we go. <laughs> that is good music. <clears throat> okay, so that is 2d10 plus 8. Uh, so that's 4 plus 8, which is 12, plus its attack stat, which takes it up to 26. It is super effective against grass types, so that would take it to double that, 52. Then take into account the Chikorita's physical defense, which is 12, dealing 40 damage. So the Chikorita does not look so good. Uh, next member of Team Wings is... Uh, yeah, let's say it's this little Volabibu. And what that is going to do... Uh, how much range is there across here? Enough. So, little Volabibu is going to flap itself over to there. Look at this Holucha. And it kind of, like, wink... It blinks its little eyes and, like... Flaps a wing at it as if to go, oh, you. 
and it is using Flatter, <laughs> which uh, raises the special attack of Holucha, but confuses it. So Holucha is now confused. <laughs> so uh, that's confusion sign now. So if it's confused, <clears throat> but it, it, so it has the potential to deal more damage to itself? Um, or not does with that special not attack, include that? no. Okay, okay. Uh, the, no, there's, uh, there's a really good thing. Uh, the move Swagger does that, where you raise their attack. Uh, special attack, not so much, but there is a setup this Volobi is intending to do. That's cool. Uh, okay, so next, the Zatu. All right, let's have a look. It creates a five meter column. Yeah. <clears throat> uh,. No, it doesn't really need to do that. Um, Vizatu looks, and it's trying to figure out who else is not a good-looking person, and it chooses this Tentacruel, because there's two members of your team that will get destroyed by a single poison attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it uses Confuse Ray on the Tentacruel. Yeah, there's reasons why we're not on that side of the battlefield. <laughs> Fighting and points. finally, yeah, and finally, Swablu. Not that far. It can only move six. <coughs> but let's see. Improve on five. Six. Uh, if I put the Swablu, put the there. Uh, what is the range of Sing? I might have that That's... right here. Uh, the range of Sing is... Uh... It's a four meter burst. So, if I quickly oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. press that... Yeah. Everything in that area is going to get... Let's see if Sing works. Okay, so here comes a Sing. Uh, that's a 17. That's a hit. Uh, 10 and 11. What is the AC of Sing? 11. Sing, 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 Sing. 11. Okay, so... Oh, no. Uh, I also need to roll one more. 11. All right, so all bar one of those fall asleep. So I'm going to say that everything except the little cub chew falls asleep. Awesome. Um, that's the sign for sleeping. You probably chose the best team to befriend. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> like, not even joking. They've, like... They've taken care of half the battlefield for you. <laughs> this is gonna be good. <laughs> um... Okay, so crashing waves. Uh, first thing, the tentacruel. Well, I need to get out my little do 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 status afflictions. All right, uh, confused. Let's do that one first. So before it does anything, it needs to roll a d twenty. It rolled a four. That means it does nothing and it slaps itself in the face. Yes. <laughs> so uh, deals twice its stab to itself. <laughs> Uh, so it's going to take that much damage. That's so um, good. What's, what's tentacle starting hit points? That. So it's now... Come on. Did you click on the thing? Yes. Tentacruel is now on that. <clears throat> um, the cub chew... That's the one that gets to move normally. Hmm. Who is Kubchu alarmed by? <laughs> oh, wait. How far? Kubchu can't even move that far. So. Yeah, Kubchu. Uh, can move five, so it's going to cross its way over there. 
it's there. And it doesn't like the look of that shell gone. So, uh, as it's walking, it's going to purposefully trip up. And then it looks so it's the shell gone. It goes, come, choo! And rub its knee uh, to act as if it's really, really hurt. And, like, blink its teeny tiny little tear-filled eyes. And it's going to use charm. Uh, that works. Uh, Shogun's attack is lowered two stages. So I need to make a note of that. Uh, in Team Punching Dragon, so attack. Down two stages. <clears throat> uh, then I need to look at sleeping people. Okay, sleep. What do they need to do? Asleep. Okay. So they need to roll a flat d20, 16 or higher, and they break out on this first turn. That's a 5, and that's a 12. They are still asleep. Awesome. Um, okay, Punching Dragons. Let's roll for the Hitmonchan to be asleep still. That is a 9. Uh, so that's not getting out. Then let's roll for the whole Lucha in Confusion. Ooh, 19. Uh, I need to check if that breaks it out. Probably. Uh, 16 to 20, cured of confusion. Nice. Holucha is free of the confusion. Hmm. So let's mark. No. We're taking that off for Holucha. Let's mark that. Holucha, however, does not like the Vullaby that did that to it. So, <laughs> do, do, do. yeah, um, what's Holucha speed? Eight, yeah. Holucha is going to uh, fly past the Volobay, and as it does so, uh, attack it with its wings for an aerial ace. So, oh, it can't miss, because it's Aerial Ace. So, 2d10, that is 12, plus 8, 20, uh, plus Holucha's attack, which is 34, plus Stab, which would take that up to uh, that number. Take into account Volaby's physical defense. Do, 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 do. Nope. Ah, uh, Team Wings are at the back. That's why I'm wondering what's going with them. Do, 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 do. Will it be physical defense, which is that? Oh, I totally forgot my numbers. I was saying them out loud and I forgot. All right, so it was 12 plus 8, 20, plus its physical attack, which is 14. So that goes up to <clears throat> um, 34 plus... It's stab because it is a stab type move, which takes it to 46. Uh, take into account the defense, which is 13 minus that. That 46 minus 13, 33. Okay, it's a good thing Volaby is a bit of a HP tank. So, uh, that... uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go, that's Volibay. <clears throat> um, okay, so there's Trap Inch and Shelgon. Shelgon is going to stay perfectly still and use Focus Energy on itself. So that's that. And Trap Inch. Hmm. Yeah. Trap Inch is going for it. Um, yeah, those two are in perfect line. And what is the distance? From... Yep. Trap Inch is going to stay where it is and use Rock Slide to hit both Swabloom and Cub Chew. Because it's a four meter wide column, which will hit both of them. Hmm. So... 
and uh, it's super effective against both of them. Boy. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, rock slide, 3d10 plus 12. Uh, that is 2, 6, 13, plus 12, 25. Plus trap inch of attack at 15, so that is 40. Uh, it's not stab, so that is 40. Super uh, effective. Time, yeah, wow. times that by two, so that's 80. Let's see how their defenses take it. Let's look at Swablu first. That's a lot. Because we know Swablu is a super defensive Pokemon with a defense of 11. Um... Yeah, no, Swablu's down. Hmm. One hit KO for Swablu. That's too bad. Because... And... Oh, Cubchu, you not looking great for you either. Uh, no. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, Cubchu is down as well. Oh, I mean, 80 damage yeah, is a, a decent lot. amount, like, regardless. Like, <laughs> I mean, what? Uh, Smoochie has basically had all of her points put into health, and you're only at, like, 100 and something, right? Uh, we're currently at 126, and we're at a total of 90, uh, 31 points into HP. Uh, <laughs> we also do have uh, 21 points in attack, though. So, we've, we've been putting it in the important things. Uh, yeah, you know, you wouldn't be looking so pretty after taking no, 80 damage, would no. you? No. <clears throat> okay, so that's uh, Punching Dragons. Ooh, time for Team Meadow Sweet. These are actually a pretty fun team. You know the best part? I actually rolled randomly for all of these Pokemon. I just got a random number generator. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it looks like I did it on purpose. Like, I really did it. They have a Vulpix. <clears throat> yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Tangrowth, how far can you move? Eight. And you can... Ooh, that's got a special range of eight. You might be able to take out those two. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. Easy. Uh, the Tangrowth lumbers its way across the stage, sees these two little birdies, and it raises its big vine hands, and uh, rocks fly out of the ground as it f hurls them through some kind of inherent ancient power. And... Yep, that's a hit. So that's 2d10 plus 8... Oh, wait. Uh, ooh, 15. <laughs> um, since that's higher than an 11, as the Tangrowth does this, uh, Tangrowth seems to emanate a powerful force as all of its stats are raised one stage. Holy crap, that's... Ooh. Oh, just be glad it didn't roll a 16 or higher, because uh, 16 or higher, all of its allies... Uh, in the column, so in the area it threw the rocks in, also get that bonus. Oof. Ancient power is a great move. We need to move. make sure that doesn't snowball. <clears throat> I mean, it can only use ancient power once per battle. Oh, so. okay. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, it's 2d10. Uh, ooh, that's not good. So that's 6 plus 8. That's 14. Add its special attack. Lucky you, with a good special attack of 16. Uh, so, uh, what was... 6 plus 8, that's 14, plus 16 is 30. It's super effective against both of those, oh which is God. 60. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I, I think because the poor little Vullaby already got slapped with a wing... Vullaby's probably down. Uh, Vullaby had been reduced to 33 hit points. Physical defense of 13. Yeah, no. Vullaby's down. Jeez. And... 
This has gone a lot quicker than I thought it would. What type is it? That they're that they're weak. Uh, rock, because they're both flying types. Uh... <clears throat> um, where <laughs> is Holucha? Holucha might survive it. I doubt it though. Okay, <clears throat> how much damage did I say just before? Um, it was six plus eight, fourteen. Uh, it was 60, because it's 30 times right. 2 for super effective. Okay, Holooch is okay. Uh, so, 60 minus 13 takes it down to 47. So, Holooch, 69. <laughs> I'm an adult. Nice. Minus 47. Holooch is still up. How? But not looking... Great. Okay. Um, okay. Floette, Vulpix, and Chikorita. Okay. Floette. Come at me. Come most... closer to me. Come here. <laughs> Get near me. I dare you. <laughs> Floette, staying exactly where it is. Um... Looks over at the Chikorita. Wait, didn't the Chikorita take damage from the attack? Dude, I put the wrong... <coughs> I put it in Swallow's hit points, not Chikorita's. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so what the Floette does is it holds its little hands to you. Everyone goes, Flow! And, um... Basically, it just... Mm, it, it, it's using the move Wish. So, that means at the end of Chikorita's next turn, it gains 50% of its maximum HP. What? And it's Chikorita's turn now. Oh, Wish is a great move, but you can only use it once per Pokemon Center visit. Oh, it's Wish? Oh, oh. I have that. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. That No, that, that makes uh, sense. So... You got some good Pokemon. What, this is good. What Chikorita is going to do is move <coughs> over here, where it's safe, kind of, oh. and it is going to use the move Reflect. So the way Reflect works in this is actually really cool. Um, you create five meters of reflect wall, so that's one meter, two meters, three meters, four meters, five meters. And any time the Pokemon that cast it or any of their allies gets attacked and they are within two meters of a reflect wall, it acts as if their defense is raised by two stages. Nice. Where, where and is that? that wall... Oh. Uh, there's a little pink wall I drew on the map. Okay. And that is going to last for four rounds. Can you guys not see the little pink wall I oh, drew? Oh, there it is. No. I see it now. There it is. Oh, okay. there we go. Yeah. So if you attack within two... While well, they're within two meters of that wall, uh, their defense is raised by two stages. Mm -hmm. All right. And finally... Volpix. Volpix doesn't like that uh, Jigglypuff just tried to like roll over it. <laughs> so Volpix looks at you and lets a single ghostly blue flame emanate from its mouth. Uh, that hits. Jigglypuff is now burned. Oh, not good. Team Crossbones. <coughs> Uh, sorry. I'm sure there's a fire. Uh, XXX, the underscore actual underscore rangers, XXX. Your move. All right. We're going to go. Uh, hang on. I need to do some measuring real fast. Yeah. Okay. So. Smoochie's going to move here. And use round. Oh, no. 
Okay. On everyone in the nearby area because it's every enemy within uh, three meters. Because <laughs> it's a three meter burst, yep. isn't it? Uh, um, yeah. And it's a special attack, so it doesn't do anything <laughs> to. Uh... <laughs> My special attack's not amazing, but it, it, it evens out, I think. Uh, so I roll for each individual one or one for everyone? Um, roll. Um, yeah, roll one for everyone, because yep. it's, you know, one attack. Mm. <coughs> mm. Alrighty. 32 damage. 32 damage. Now let me look. Uh, so that is Chikorita, Floet, and Vulpix. So, Floet, special defense, 15. So, Floet will be taking 17 damage. Uh, minus... 17. Um, um, hang on from its original 60. So put that in there. Uh, I forgot to give Chikorita its health back from Wish, so I will do that quickly. So the Wish was granted. It got hit points back. So that's plus 30. <clears throat> and it's taking 32. Its special defense is 12. So minus 20 and volla 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 picks special defense 12 also taking 20 so volla picks is on that many hit points <clears throat> uh clementine slash ever who wants to go next uh prince is going to go and fight this trap inch Okay. Because that seems, that seems, yeah. <laughs> what is the thing there is? Thirty-six damages. Thirty-six. Uh, that's physical <laughs> attack. So. Take into account the defense, which is 10. So Trap Inch is taking 26 damage total from its 60. So that knocks it down to um, 34 hit points. I can do the maths. <clears throat> uh, you didn't get the flinch, however. Uh, what about you, uh, Clementine? Are you going? Are you punching anything? Or gonna start scanning more pokemon still oh we're gonna start scanning more pokemon oh sorry. okay uh i'm also gonna move sorry my turn i'm just gonna move a little bit <sighs> oh <There. sneezing. clears throat> uh yeah um you're moving over to near the tangrove that's cool uh who are you gonna start trying to scan um probably this guy the whore lucha. Yeah, that All righty. <clears throat> Wonderful. Uh, Eva, what are you doing? Since Prince attacked Trapinch, Trimp I'm going to use Psybeam on Hitmonchan. Nice. Smart thinking. Uh, okay. 31 damage. Uh, Hitmonchan has literal... Oh no, Hitmonchan's actually got not a bad special defense. Didn't expect that. It is doubled. Oh, but it is doubled for being super effective, so it's actually 62. Um, so 62 minus 16 for Hitmonchan's special defense. Uh, take the 6, but I'll take it down to 56, 46. Uh, so that puts Hitmonchan on that many hit points. And not looking so great. Also, during my turn, I'm going to attempt to discourage the uh, Tangrowth by informing it that it looks like a bunch of worms that died of food poisoning. 
So you're just like, hey, Tangro, you look stupid, and I hate you. Yes. <laughs> Can I roll charisma? <clears throat> um, yeah, ro <laughs> what do you want to roll for that? Just, just charisma, just to, 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 <laughs> to try and discourage it, maybe, maybe make it, uh, not focus very much. Okay. I crit. You crit. <laughs> okay. You have certainly <laughs> got the Tangrove's attention. Uh, in fact, you have... You've deeply offended it and hurt its feelings. The Tangrove turns around and looks at you, and its eyes kind of furrow. It gets angry anime <laughs> eyes. The Tangrove looks like it's going to start attacking you. <laughs> okay. It doesn't want to fight Pokemon anymore. It wants to fight the thing that feelings. Uh, I need to get my best uh, soccer player impression going then, in a moment. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, and finally, Serol. Let's look at Pentatomidae. In Pentatomidae has kind of a try and true perfect system here. Invincible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, who is Pentatomide going to go and leech life to death? Well, not leech life, sorry, Fury Swipes. Who do you see as being the biggest threat that, uh, currently? That, um, the, the thing that uh, Prince went to go bite. The trap inch? It, it wiped out two Pokemon in one turn. That thing was pretty scary. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so uh, I think Pentatomidae can move that far. Uh, Pentatomidae has a sky of 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> piece of piece of cake. So Pentatomidae just slowly flies over, not a care in the world. And uh, it's just gonna Fury Swipes. Submit, submit, submit. Yeah. Um, oh no! Use five hit points. <laughs> the altering destiny, alter des. Well, yeah. keep going. Oh boy! Alter destiny. Because that's what he so that's do. ten. <laughs> uh, how many times is it hit now? Is that three? Yep. Uh, one, two, three. Keep going. He's only lost 10 hit points. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all five. All right. Woo! Yep. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so let me get Trap Inch's defense, which is a 10. Okay, you get that all total up the damage. Yeah, okay. So uh, that is going to go 20, 24, 21... 21, 19, uh, and that adds up to more hit points than Trap Inch has left. Because, yeah, so Pentatomidae does that. And you know what? So, uh, Serol, just to note the people, uh, if, if that attack went, if, you know, no defense has been accounted for, that attack dealt 155 damage. <laughs> um... Hang on, let me just mark the slim is 10 hit points down. Where is his hit points? Uh, well, he'd be fully rested, so that puts him on 102 <laughs> hit points. He'll be fine. Slim's flipping. Slim's broken. <laughs> yeah. Uh, however, what he is going to do, because he, he's a dedicated real life actual ranger. Yes. He looks at uh, that Tangrove and is like, nah, lava plume. <laughs> and vomits lava on it. That hits. So that is 3d10 plus 12 plus 21. That's a lot of damage. Wow. It's a very powerful move. But it uses 10 hit points. Yeah. So, 3d10, 8, 8, 5, so that is 21. 
plus 12, so that's 35, plus another 21, because his con is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so that's 56, double that, because it's super effective against grass types. <laughs> uh, uh, 112. <laughs> Tangrove's defense, which has gone off a stage. Um, so... What is 18 up one stage? I need my chart. Bad. Right now, I'm so glad I put in the effort of putting all these stupid things on here. Yeah. Okay, 18. So, Tangrove's defense is currently 22. And it's taking 112 damage. 112 minus 22. Tangrove is down. Oh. But it, it's not outright dead. Like... Because Tangrove had 75 hit points wow. and a defense of 22. Like, Tangrove is pretty tanky. Wow. And I'm going to point out, but, you know, when this is over, I'll tell you how I started these because it's actually the easiest. I'm so annoyed I never figured this out for starting stuff before. Like, I'm genuinely upset with myself that I didn't think of it beforehand. But you got it now. Oh, yeah, I've got it now, which will make everything super easy. Um, I'm looking forward to you the are down. this fight. <laughs> So much. Oh, I, I have written that down. I didn't add it all up already because I thought you'd want to enjoy that. So that's that. Team Wings. A background to them. They they're two they're two members down. Mm -hmm. In fact, every team is down a member except you. Yeah. <laughs> Go XXX actual underscore Rangers XXX. Okay, so wings, 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 swings, swing, 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 swallow. <clears throat> yeah, what swallow is going to do is it doesn't like all the shenanigans that is going on, so it flaps its wings real hard and all of a sudden there are multiple swallows nice so it's doing that um Zatu uh Volibi, you're dead Zatu <sighs> doesn't really have much else it can do because it's not super designed for upfront, close and personal combat. So it is going to look at this tentacle, give it a glare, make the world shake and twist around it, and the tentacle takes 30 damage. What move was that? From N Nightshade. Ooh. Uh, it can only be used once per center visit, so... Oh, wow. Uh, no, I, the reason that... I was asking is I, I, for a second it sounded like it was like Earthquake or something, and I wanted to know how those affect the game. No, 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 just Nightshade, just... Burp. Just damage equal to level. Oh, that's awesome! I didn't know there was a move like that. That's super cool. Uh, yeah, Nightshade and Seismic Toss do damage equal to what your level is. That's super cool. That's, that's really cool. <clears throat> uh, okay, Crashing Waves. Let's see what they do. Um, Tentacruel is still confused. Uh, what does it need to roll on turn two to break out of confusion? So, uh, confused. Oh, no, it's the same. So, below a 10, hits itself. That is a nine. Yeah. Uh, so it takes double its stab, which is <clears throat> that much damage. Doing great over there, oh, Tentacruel. Dear. And Crawdaunt and Cloritza, they need to roll, see if they can wake up. Um, turn two, they need to roll higher than a 14. Five. Ooh, Clortza wakes up. 
with a 17, so one of them's up and moving. Now, what can you do? I actually wasn't expecting you to wake up. <laughs> Is that the beginning <clears throat> of their turn or end? Uh, that happens at the beginning of their turn. Right. So it still gets its actual move. Um, what Kloritza does? Hmm. Who doesn't it like? It's not really... You know what? It doesn't like Zatu, because Zatu's been messing with its buddy. So, uh, how much range is between them? More than enough. Uh, it holds out its big meaty claw and fires a beam of bubbles. bubbles. Nat one misses. <laughs> you should have just stayed asleep. Yeah. I yelled at her from across the court. <laughs> The uh, Punching Dragons, okay. Hitmonchan, still asleep, because that's a six on the die. Uh, Shelgon. <sighs> Shelgon looks at everything and just kind of nopes out of being near the Pentatomidae <laughs> and Prince and slowly lumbers down because it can't move very far lumbers down to over here where it can get in range of Chikorita and it shoots a little tiny ball of fire out of its mouth, a little <laughs> tiny ember it goes poo uh, that hits deals 1d12 plus 6 12 Nice. So that's 18 plus special attack, which is 11. So that is uh, 29. Take into account Chikorita's special defense of 12. So 29 minus 12 is 17. Oh no, hang on. 29 doubled. So that would actually be 58 minus 12 which is uh, enough that Chikorita is down. Awesome. Nearly, I forgot, nearly way, forgot I, about that I, there. I, I took damage from my burn. Oh, have you uh, marked that yeah, yourself? I got that. Yeah, wonderful. And that means the last member of Punching Dragons is this little bitty Paulucha. What is Holucha going to do? What a what is Holucha going to do? Um, is it going to risk? Mm, don't know if that'd work or not. You know what? Holucha just wants to go for a hit on something. So it is going to rush down to the Vulpix, leap into the air, and... F not you, Swallow. I'm not touching you. And slam back down onto the Vulpix. Uh, it is using the flying press, which is probably the most unique move. Uh, yep, that hits. So that deals 3d10. 1, 2, 3, plus 12. So 8, 11, 12, plus 12 is 24, plus physical attack, which is 38. <clears throat> um, unfortunately for Holucha, uh, Vulpix is neither affected well you know it doesn't benefit from being hit by flying or fighting because uh flying press actually counts as both a flying and a fighting type move when you use it it's like literally the most unique move in all of pokemon it's awesome uh however so that is 38 damage um but volpix's defense is raised two stages because it is never reflect 
which uh, uh, it probably Vega, needs. Uh, subscribe to tier one for seven months in a row. Thank you very much. Oh. Woo! Thank you, Vega. Thank you. You're the best. So, da -da 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 -da. Um, uh, what did I need? Combat stages. I need to check what nine raised by two stages is. So that actually goes up to a 13. Um, oh, God, what was the numbers I just said before? I said like 38, didn't I? 38 sounds about right. That sounds like what I said. I'm going to trust what I said, 38. Take into account 13. So 38 minus 13 is 25. Vulpix is still alive, and it is pretty much entirely because of that reflect. So that is that. Hmm. Does that stay now that the now that the Chikorita is dead? Uh yes, it lasts for um but it's one D four plus one turn, oh, so okay. it still has two more turns after this one. Alright, that's too bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Meadow Sweet with just Flabebe not Flabebe, Floet, it evolved, it's not Flabebe. And Volpix. <laughs> What or what are you two going to do? Let's look at Floet first, because you're, like, the helpful, friendly one. Uh, <coughs> no, that's no use. That's no use. <sighs> yeah, you know what? Everyone's just going to have to slap this whole looter and hope it works. So, <laughs> it's the Floet is going to use Magical Leaf which cannot miss. Uh, however, it's not very effective against Holucha. But, hey-ho, you, you make do. So it's 2d8. Uh, that's 5, plus 8, 13, plus special attack, 26. Uh, half that, 13. Take into account Holucha's uh, special defense, which I don't think is very good. Or it is surprisingly good at 11, uh, 2 damage to Holucha. That, that was... 2 damage. <laughs> that happened. Yeah. Barely. Um, so, what Vulpix is going to do is Vulpix is going to use Flame Burst. Uh... Uh, no, it can't. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Actually, that's genius. Because Flame Burst will hit all legal targets uh, in a four meter blast. So oh, let me no. just check what the blast is from like, how a blast works. I don't know if that's the same as a burst. Uh, is it in attack keywords? There we go. Blast. Uh, all targets in the radius specified. Radius drawn from the target of the move. So, it is actually going to throw the flame burst over here at a swallow. So, let me just mark this swallow here with a little radius. Huh. It can't hurt itself. But it's going to hurt its trainers, but for funsies. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's also going to hurt you as well, Amelia. But I will tell you, because it's different the damage you take compared to what it's actually trying to hit. Uh, that hits. Uh, the swallow it hits. I need to see if it hits the real one or a fake one. It hits a fake one, so a damage roll doesn't actually matter. Um, everybody else in the radius, you lose damage equal to one sixteenth of your maximum hit points. Ha. Huh. Um, so, the swallow, which is marked as that one. Oh, yikes. Uh, first of all, it takes 3d6 damage from its clones all being destroyed. Uh, so that is... Three, four, eight. 
and then it loses one sixteenth of its maximum. So Swallow's maximum is 63. How do you calculate this? Um, um, if you half it, you well, if you half your max, you get half, half it again, quarter, half it again, eight, half it again, 16. Okay, so just divide it by, yeah, uh, two, yeah, okay. Divide it by two, like, four times, and you'll <laughs> get it. there. So, um, I need to quickly do that here, so 60, ooh, that goes to 32, which would be half, that goes to 16, which would be a quarter, eight, which is an eighth, and four. So, <clears throat> so two, four, eight, sixteen. Yeah. Uh, so that swallow. Well, all its friends are dead. All its clones of itself are gone, and it takes uh, twelve damage in total. Good job. It's not loads, but. It got rid of its clones, mm -hmm. so it goes down to. Uh, well, it, that. at least we're not going to be concerned about our allies betraying us at the very last minute. <laughs> no, not so much. Oh, and uh, that whole lucha. I need to do the maths on the whole lucha. One sixteenth of its maximum hit points. Sixteenth isn't as big as I thought it was when it said it out loud. Mm -hmm. Is that... It sounds like, oh my god, that's so much. Does it get to keep its, oh, its defense on that? Uh, no, okay. it's a 16th no matter what. Okay, at least there's that. It's the same as, like, being poisoned or uh -huh. whatever. So... <clears throat> there's Holucha. Okay, so... 69. Uh, divide that by 2 is... 34.5. Divide that by two is 17.25. Divide that by two. Oh, God. I did not sign up to do math. <laughs> two, four. Uh, half of 17.25 is 8. Point well, what's it? What's six, its max? I can. I got a calculator here. One, two. Uh, its max is 69. Nice. Yeah. Uh, four. Yep, four. Uh, ooh, Holucha is not looking fantastic. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Now we get back to the actual rangers. What do? Well, Prince is gonna go bite this this shelly boy. Bite the shell boy. I don't know. Bite. Hang on. What move? Uh, yeah, let's fight it. <laughs> fight it, fight it. It's a high damage move. Let's do it. <laughs> nice. Uh, 25. Take into account Shogun's defense of that. So it is... Taking that much damage and is doing that. Um, Shogun looks to be the most. Aside from the Pokemon which are asleep and have taken zero damage, Shogun's looking the best out of everyone. You know, excluding you guys. So take that as you will. All right. um, I think we're going to double slap the Vulpix. Alrighty, yeah. That's a hit. Mm-hmm. That's also a hit. Y yeah. More hitting. <laughs> I, More hitting. More hitting. Uh, so that's... There you go. And I crit on the last and one. That's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I can tell you right now that there is no way that Vulpix has survived like at all did it die though? Um, <laughs> um how much damage have you done in total uh, i gotta do the math real fast uh so uh 27 plus 26 plus 30 
plus 25, plus uh, 29, and then double that because that's a crit. 166 damage. Okay. Now, minus, uh, what is 13 times 5? That would be 65 from that. Uh -huh. So still 101 damage. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You just straight. You just straight up murdered that Voltex. Smoochie walks up. It was up. on 12. <laughs> oh, it's on 12 hit points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smoochie walks up and like grabs it by like the fur right underneath its neck, and then just. <laughs> Slaps it back and forth on the face, just over and over and over again. Oh God! Just let's go. Drops it to the ground. <laughs> the little girl in front of her is like, "What did you do? That was that was my pet, and I loved it." Uh, and this game is flipping <laughs> brutal. And then we take another <laughs> small bit of damage from uh, burning. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, let me double, double check some of my healing abilities to see if I want to use one of those up yet. Uh, uh yes. Uh, I'm just going to walk over and use Treat Minor Wounds, which she can use three times per day to, uh, heal 20 hit points. Putting... All right. Almost back up to maximum. Jesus. <laughs> uh, so, Eva and Nova, what are you two doing? Uh, mm, I'm gonna finish off this Hitman chain and use try to finish off this Hitman chain with confusion. I think you will finish it off. You got it. Uh, so double that goes up to 60. <coughs> Hit one chan. Um, it, it had a surprisingly good special defense, but not that good. So Hit one chan special defense 16. Uh, 60 minus 16 is 44. It's on 14 hit points. Hit one chan's down. Yeah. <clears throat> And that leaves Pentatomidae and Slim. Pentatomidae is claiming its next victim. And there's Chloritza up here. So, do 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 do. Let's move that there. And. Uh, slim. So far. Oh, it really can. Although, oh, it can't use Fury Swipes. It has to use another move. So, you know what? Let's. In that case, Pentatomidae is not going to move. Because if there is a range of six... No, no. Don't move you. How many squares? Well, seven. Okay. So Pentatomidae is going to move... going to move to there. Just hover over a dead hit on Chan. And is going to use a Shadow Sneak. That sounds good. It's a good move. <laughs> so, as Pentatomide just stands there, its shadow scurries along the ground and just slaps up against the Chloritzer. 42 damage. That's a good uh, move. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chloritzer, physical defense of 14. Um, 42 minus 14 is 28. So, 66... Minus 28. Yeah, Clorts are you know, about halfway down. Not looking fantastic, but it's done. And Slim 
You know what? I think Slim has just decided... We need to... We need to clear one team off the board. And is going to lava plume <laughs> the floet. Oh, that, that's too bad for that little grass type. Uh, floet is a fairy Wait, type. What? But yeah, it's also it's, a flower. That floet is just the little thing that holds the flower. Oh, that's too bad. It's deceptive. That's too bad. So, uh, it's still a lot of damage. Itty bitty float. Uh, it is. Let me check its little damage. Is a is that special attack? <laughs> uh, it is. Ooh, good. <clears throat> okay, so three D ten. Uh, da 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 dum dum dum. Seven. Plus six, plus two, so that is eight, plus seven, fifteen, plus twelve, twenty-seven, plus twenty-one, uh, so that's forty-eight. Um, Floet special defense is fifteen, so that takes uh, forty-eight down to uh, thirty-five. The Floet is still alive. Uh, minus, it was 48, minus 15, so it's taking 33 damage. Floyd is still alive, but not looking so good. Uh, almost entirely gone and done. Ah. <sighs> okay, Team Wings. The Zatu has done basically all it can do. Uh, so... In a show of sovereignty to you lot, the Zatu is going to... None of you are really taking much damage, are you? None of you are really getting hit by anything. Mm -mm. No. So... Uh, the Zatu is going to pick Prince because it can see that Prince is about to get hit by stuff. And it's going to use Wish on Prince. Ooh. Aww. So, after your next turn, you recover 50% of your maximum hit points. Awesome. The Swallow swoops over, and he's going to take out this Floet. I, mean, I don't really even have to roll for it, but, you know, I might don't miss. Roll a one. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Wing attack hits with a 13. Uh, 2d10. Uh, 10 plus 8. 18 plus 14. Uh, so that is... Uh, 20. No, 18 plus 14 is 34. Take into account Floet's defense, uh, which is... 10, so that's 24. Yeah, Floet's down. It had 10 hit points awesome. left. All right, one team is off the board. Uh, brings us to Crashing Waves. Can Tentacruel finally break out of this confusion? -na 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 -na. No. If this Tentacruel slaps itself to death... That'd be so good. <laughs> It's very close. It's it's on three hit points. Ooh. Oh. After slapping itself again. I just realized that uh, rollout is rock, not ground. So I'm about to mm -hmm. hurt that lucha bird or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or you could turn heel now and kill the swallow, whichever you fancy. I mean, <laughs> we do have to beat everyone before the game's over, so, like, that's just... They knew how this was going to turn out. This have, how it has to be. Um, let's see if Crawdant can wake up. It needs to roll 12. 11! 
That fish doesn't want to wake up. It shouldn't. Really, uh, you don't want to see what's going on outside. No. Chloritza. Hmm. Chloritza. Uh, it, it does a little dance and snaps it. It's pincer. It is doing a swords dance and raising its attack stage. So that's them. Uh, the only person left from punching dragons is the Horlucha. And the only person it can see is that Jigglypuff. Go for it. So, Horlucha is going to use Aerial Ace, which cannot miss. Dealing. Okay, let's do the maps. 13 plus 8. Um, that is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, 21 plus physical <laughs> attack which is 14, so 21 plus 14 at 35, plus stab, which is another 12. Uh, that's 47 damage. Uh, 47, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Obviously, six. take into account your defense and whatnot. Okay. Uh, that... Oh no, there's also Shelgon. I forgot about Shelgon. Shelgon's still. He's gonna. Mm. Shelgon looks at Prince and takes a step back and then charges in with a headbutt. Uh, five. That should be a hit. Yup. Unless uh, Prince so has some real good evasion. <gasps> Yeah, Prince, you have an evasion of four. Oh. No. <laughs> mm. Not yet. Soon. So you're going to take 3d10, 6, 6, 9. So that is 21 plus 10. So that's 31. Oh, Shogun's physical attack was lowered two stages by that Cub Chew. Thank you, Cub Chew. So, 15 load two stages is down to 11. So, it is 21 plus 11. Is that right? No, sorry, it was 31 plus 11. So, that's 42 damage. All right, and is that a regular attack or special attack? Uh, regular. He's just okay. slapping into you with his big meaty shell. Okay. How's Prince looking? Uh, about half health. <laughs> wow. Uh, Metal Sweet are off the board. Yeah. Uh, so it comes back round to the actual Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> well, what are you doing, Smoochie? Roll out on the Lucha Bird. On Horlucha, go for it. Roll out. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. 28, but it should be super effective unless some other type is interfering. Um, No, fighting doesn't get resistance to rock, I believe. So, you're good. Sweet. So, double that is 56. They can recount his physical defense of 13. Takes it down to 43. And... Holucha on 16 hit points oh, is down as Yay. you go thump. Awesome. So <clears> that, <throat> and then uh, we're going to move one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, there. Uh, and then uh, mm. Amelia is going to also do some healing. Y'all mm. continue with your stuff. Yeah. Uh, Prince and Clementine. Uh, Clementine, you would have finished scanning the turn. So you've got Holucha added into your poker deck. Because that was awesome. three turns. That's that's unique. Um, <laughs> so Prince is going to use Swift on on this, this jerk thing. Okay. Uh, Swift cannot miss. 23. Let me look at Shogun's special defense uh, of 10. So that's 13 damage to the Shogun. 
Um, oh, you have cute charm, don't you? Uh, so let's uh -huh. say you have pixelate, and that would have been really useful, but um, so minus 13. Yeah, this Shogun is, is still going. It's like a little bit of a tank right there. Uh, Prince, your wish has been granted and you regain 50% of your max hit points. Yay. Also, Smoochie got healed and is back up to 117 hit points. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I'm not wasting any of my good healing abilities yet. Just, just the basic <laughs> ones. No. <laughs> uh, Eva and Nova. Uh, we're going to move up here. I'm going to clear shot with Psybeam on Shelgon. Ooh, do it, do it. Do it! Ooh. 42. Very good. Nice. Uh, once again, take into account his special defense. Oh, it's 32. That has done a big, sizable chunk of damage to Shelgon. Uh, still standing, but, okay. yeah. Probably doesn't have much what left. Type is Shogun? Like, dragon. dragon. Oh, yeah. Very disappointing dragon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So now, Pantomone is going to claim victim with a <laughs> set of fury Hang swipes. On. Oh. Um, if. He is the dragon type, then mm -hmm. the swift should have done super effective damage. Isn't swift normal? It is, but uh, Prince's high ability is eight. <clears throat> uh, high ability doesn't come in until you are. Uh, a... I, I, I can't remember what level. Uh, oh, it's okay. like level. Yeah, it's why I was double checking if you had charm or not. Like. When you get to a higher level, you will unlock Pixelate. Uh, That's how oh, that works. Okay. It's what I was just double checking. Is it before. like level 50 or okay. something that we get those? I think it, it's between 45 and 50. Um, I would have to. Because uh, after this, yeah, that's okay. going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, okay, so. Do -do 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 -do. Pentatoma Day. It's murder time. Fury Swipes. Uh, spend five hit points. That's ten hit points. That's a lot okay. of damage, though. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's three hits. Four hits. There we go. Okay, let's quickly add those up. So that's 34, 29, 160. <laughs> wow. Uh, physical defense of 14. So 14 times 5 would be 70. Yep. Um, so take 70 from that total. Is uh, 90 damage. Uh... So, minus 90. Well, it's knocked out, but it's not dead. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <clears throat> um, I want to, dur during our turn, real quick, just take my, ca my phone camera out and zoom in on the face mm -hmm. of the trainer who owns the Tentacruel and take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just because he's not done anything? I want to see their reaction to their Pokemon's performance. <laughs> it's just sad. <laughs> he's, he's just looking at it, just like, why? The actual why? look on my face when I watch a Pokemon just hit itself over and over again. Yeah, it's that like, but I love, I love you. Stop it. <laughs> Um, oh, uh, Team Wing. Okay. Uh, Zatu has, it has done basically everything it can do. 
because the only other thing it has is a thing to boost speeds, but speed's not really necessary in this battle. So the Zatu just floats over and puts itself out of bounds and is disqualified from the fight. Because <laughs> yeah. there's nothing else for it to do. Because uh. uh -huh. <clears throat> all of its moves are like ones per battle. Is struggle um, in this game? Uh, it probably is somewhere. I can't do that because it, it still has that one other move. But I was yeah. just wondering, just that bringing that up, it, like, I didn't... I, I wonder if... I would have to double check, like, like look in the GM's guide, because it's one of those things that's never come up. Cause... <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, Swallow is going to dash over to the Chalgon. Um Yeah, it's going to use Wing Attack. That is a hit, so that's 2d10. Uh, that's 11 plus 8, 19 plus 14. That is uh, 33 plus stab. Takes it up to 45. Shogun's defense is not good enough to keep it from going down. Hey. Yeah, no. Uh, Shogun is down. Yay! And Swallow is there. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see if this tentacruel <laughs> beats itself. I want to see this. The lower 10 and it's down. Five. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Tentacruel <laughs> knocks itself out in confusion. <laughs> and this Crawdont needs to roll uh, 10 or higher to wake up. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Still asleep. Punching dragons are out. So, uh, actual rangers, back to you. Awesome. Uh... There are literally two enemies left. So, and one of them is technically an ally currently. Yeah. Uh, Amelia is going to look over at the, the sparrow Pokemon and is just going to like wave it away. It's like, it's, go away now. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> um, and I'm going to pick up Smoochie. <laughs> yeah. Walk there mm -hmm. and then drop smoochie one two three <laughs> four five we are there and that's the end of our turn because uh we st <clears throat> still can't move very far uh and we have only one range to attack and that's still not a good enough range and then we take a little bit of damage okay um sylveon oh uh... prince well, we're going to move up to the sleeping dude. <laughs> and that's as far as we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, and Nova? I'm going to move up here. And then hit it with confusion. Hmm. Uh, when you go to use Confusion, you notice it seems to have no effect. I forgot about that. Yeah, Crawdaunt is a dark type. I forgot. And with, <clears throat> with the revelation when it's a dark type, uh, that is actually going to make Pentatomin be like, no, if that thing wakes up, <laughs> it'll hit me and end me. I'm moving out the way. So, with that, uh, Team Wings, it kind of looks and goes, I can't take out this many things on my own. I'm also pulling out. Nice. And Crashing Waves looks, it's, <laughs> it, it's one against four. He withdraws. Just uh, drags the combat. <laughs> yeah, just grabs its tail, pulls it out <laughs> the arena. And that 
is combat over. Yay! You are the winners of the preliminary round. Awesome. Um, okay. Shogun, you have a calculator, right? Because I'm about to read out all the experience numbers. Okay. Um, time, when I get to the end of this, times it by 100. <laughs> okay. Okay, so 18 okay. plus 6 plus 24 uh, plus 24 okay. P plus 24. So how many 24s? Uh, that's three in a row. Okay. Let me just double check that. Yeah. Plus 6 plus 18 plus 15 plus 24. Plus 15, plus 9, plus 15, plus 18, plus 6, plus 24, <laughs> plus 6. And then times that by 100, that's how much it's... XP! Really? 50,000? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that, that was a lot of 2,000s in there. Yeah, okay. Um, I, okay. And I'm going to have to do the maths on that as well, but um, there are 16 enemies, so that would make sense that... Okay. Um, wait, hang on. 54 divided by 16. Well, what's that? 54 divided by... 3,150. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's 54 divided by 16? Uh, 3.375. Okay, that's not possible. Because that would mean the average is 3,000. And nothing is more than 2,000. Oh, no! Where did the maths go wrong? No! I was... Okay. I was... I was <clears> going to be level 47. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's try this again. Uh, actually, okay. maybe right now is a good time for a break. <clears throat> well, actually, um, we can wrap up early. Oh, okay. For today. Um... And then when we start next week, it'll be post preliminaries. Right on. Okay. In... Awesome. That does that does sound right. Cause, That's smart. Because I, yeah, I am happy to wrap up early with it being Valentine's Day and whatnot for everybody. Smart. You know, people who have things to do or this, that, and the other. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we uh, we're gonna wrap things up slightly earlier than usual here. Yeah, so then we can dive into the next part of this epic tournament when we return. So um, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. <clears throat> uh, I have been your GM for this evening, Bodic Knock. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, all under the Bodic Knock. You can find Welcome to the Party on, well, here on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Welcome Party RPG, over on Twitter at Welcome Party RPG, over on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Welcome to the Party, and the Discord server link down below lovely lovely players uh where would i find you people on the internet doing your various things um nerdy where would i find you on the internet you can find me on twitter nerdy teddy uh and you can find me here three times a week uh mondays i run a mass game uh aegis shield of earth uh that was a lot of fun on Wednesdays, you can come watch me and the rest of the Camarilla party attempt to survive whatever mess the other two <laughs> parties have created for us. I've been watching. And Thursdays. We had very little to do with any of that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how true that is, but I don't believe it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and Thursdays I play in this game this Shadowrun game that goes with it 
that's everything. Right on. Okay. And Michi, where would I find you on the? Uh, I am Michi at Michisaurus on the Twitter and most places. Um, you can find me here every first and third Tuesday, uh, running our Eclipse Phase Second Edition campaign. You can find me here every other Thursday playing Pokemon. And I will be here on the 24th running a game for the uh, fundraiser to help Stinkrat pay her medical bills. Mm -hmm. And Shogun, where can I find you on the internet? Um, you can find me here. I run several games. I am part of Mimic Nights, which is every other Tuesday. It is a DD 5th edition, very homebrew game i'm part of this game every other thursday and i run the Shadowrun game uh all the other thursdays and i'm a part of the sabbat vampire the masquerade game every saturday uh noon est and uh i'm i'm looking at it right now we only have i think 26 people that have died at the hands of the sabbat party <laughs> uh only yeah <laughs> yeah, but you haven't created any masses for anybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I believe, if if I'm not completely mistaken, I believe uh, it, w one of the Camarilla, like, a ca kill count, total kill count of, like, what, four or something across the entire, all of the games so far, <laughs> something like that. Team Crossbones can do that in an afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, <laughs> let's see, I killed somebody... Silas just killed somebody. I think it's it. Because I know they also... Uh, Leona's killed it. Yeah, I think it's about six. Okay. Not to waste too much time, but just to give the flavor. Our The first thing we did in the game was we went on a scavenger hunt. And that resulted in the death of two... The fiery death of two people. <laughs> I would ask how, but that would take away the, the beauty of going and checking out the YouTube of the Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, gore warning, Sabbat. though, for the Sabbat game. Oh, God. <laughs> Heavy gore warning. I mean, it's it's similar to this, but we put we describe with more detail in the Sabbat game. Yeah, it's... we don't make it sound as cute. Yeah, we're not like, oh, he's dead, and move on. It's more like... Okay, so I'm gonna do this, and and we go into deep. Here's exactly how he died. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yes, that's everything I do. I am Shogun One One Seven on Twitter. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, thank you, the three of you, for playing, and thank you, you especially Bardic, for running the game. This is great. I enjoy. I it. Um, are we are we gonna go raid somebody? Uh, sorry. Yes, I need to find. Um, yes, I am having a ton of fun with the, with the Pokemon thing, especially this one of trying to make everyone think poorly of the, of the, uh, <laughs> of the Rangers. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm trying to think of how we're supposed to act when we win. To make sure that everyone hates them, even though they're not like, oh, you know, they're kind of jerks and slobby, but, you know, they did win. Like, they're competent. Make them hate us for winning. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll, I'll... What's the most arrogant way yeah, exactly. of winning? Exactly. We'll, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. <laughs> and we're going to raid the Thursday nights. Alrighty. So, uh, we're going to go do that. Do all the things I said, you know, check out all the different people and the places, do the cool things. And uh, until next time, stay safe and happy adventuring. Bye, everybody. Bye.